Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on the Hermit Life server. This video is a bit different, as you may know. This video is an update video, rather than an episode. If you don't know why, make sure to check the video linked in the description for more information. So, last episode we left off by defeating the Wither and getting a beacon. A lot has happened since then. As you can see, I'm at my base. Well, at least where my base was located. I've moved to a new location, um, which we're going to check out in a little bit. As you can see, I already moved my all my stuff over there. Well, <laughs> most of it. Those two chests are full of beds. Why, you may ask? Well, those two double chests were leftovers from six double chests full of beds. How did I get this many beds? Well, someone pranked me by, put by putting beds all over the floor of my base. If you could call a few chests and some random farms a base. But <laughs> I think it's time to show you guys my new location for my base. Let's go through the nether because it's by far out. But before we go to the nether, this reminds me of something. The server has updated to 1.16 since the last episode. The first day the server updated to 1.16, I've spent over 4 hours mining for ancient debris and I never had to mine for ancient debris since then. That is why I have this shiny new armor, which you can also see in my inventory. And I also have some pickaxes and stuff. All in ancient debris. I also have this helmet, but I can't put it on because of a minigame, which I will tell you guys later on. That's why I can't wear it. But I mean, it looks pretty cool on my face. If I say so myself, but sadly I can't wear them. That's a shame. But let's put it off. And. Yeah, I think it's time to go to Nether, where we also started our brand new Nether up. So, this is the brand new Nether up. I've designed this together with Siri. Well, Siri did the most uh, part of the design, but I made some tweaks to it, and I think the design is pretty nice, if I say so myself. Um. And as you can see, we are still working on it. Um, but we kind of disbanded the project, which means it's still not done. So I think I'm going to work on it very soon again. Um, so I think it is time to go to my indust industrial district, uh, which is quite far out. Now, you shouldn't have seen my industrial district yet. Unless you have been following my streams lately, um, which I which I actually worked on, it isn't anything big at the moment. But I'm planning to dig out everything to bedrock. That's a 128 by 128 area. Yeah, but I hope to finish it very soon because 128 by 128 is a very big area. Um, I did only the grass layer at the moment, but the grass and the dirt layer and now I'm flattening it out but um, I hope to finish it well to continue on it very soon and I hope to finish it um, <laughs> still this season because it's a quite big project and I don't have that much time but we'll see how far we can get so um, this is also why we need the beacon last episode because if you want to do this by hand without a beacon it's going to take a lot of time so as you can see, I already got the dirt and grass layered on, and I'm now flattening it out. Also, right here is my um, is my chest monster <laughs> with a lot of um, dirt and even more dirt, stone, and I think grass right here. Yeah, grass. So yeah, this is my industrial district. There aren't ma any machines just yet. But I'm planning to make a wool farm very soon. And there's also over here a zombie spawner, which I didn't know of. So we can make like <laughs> XP farm or something right here. So which is pretty good. So 
I think it is time to go to my base. As I said, my base is not too far away from my industrial district. It's just over the hill right here, which we'll render in right now. But, um, yeah, this hill. Well, I'm, if I mean over it, it's actually inside this hill. Um, there hasn't been built anything just yet, but stay tuned for that. Uh, so here it is. Um, this valley I'm going to build in probably. Um, as soon as I, saw, as I saw this place, I fell in love with it and I thought, I need to do something with this. So, um, yeah, I'm... If I'm going to build here, I'm going to try and keep uh, everything intact, so this little lake and stuff, and go with the nature. And yeah, I think this is a pretty good place for a base. It's maybe quite small, but I'm a bit late with my base. So I think I'll start next season with a big base. So yeah, I think it is time to go to the shopping district to see what has happened over there. So, so here we are at the shopping district. A lot has changed since last time you guys have seen this. A lot of new shops have appeared as you can see. But also some new mini games such as Capture the Cookie and The Treasure Hunt from Impossible Gaming. The Treasure Hunt of Impossible Gaming was so hard that even Impossible Gaming didn't know how to solve it. He forgot how to solve it, but here are some clues. <laughs> the treasure hunt has never been solved. <laughs> but there's also another mini game which is going on right now, which is Capture the Cookie. So a brief explanation of Capture the Cookie is in this game, you, the cookie fight tries to cookify the uncookified by any means possible. The uncookified need to try and stay uncookified, but if you got cookified, you are the one placing traps and such to cookified. Cookify the uncookified. When there's one cookie uncookified left, a person will win capture cookie. Man, that's just it's a lot of cookies. <laughs> so, um, basically, you have the cookified. These people need to cookify the uncookified by any means possible by trapping, by killing, and then giving them the heads, or by bribing, or any any way possible which they think they can. Um, Gets the uncookified to get cookified. Um, it started with Cookie Shadow right here um, being the only one cookified, and she cookified everyone except me. But we wanted her to win, so we left two people back in the game and we voted, and she got in together with Siri. So basically, I won the first round, and now I still got to win the second round, which is quite hard. But basically, the way you get cookified. Is by getting a quickie shadow head on your own head. That's why you can't wear a helmet because otherwise you can't equip it. Uh, which I can show you because now I can do it for just to show you guys. But yeah, um, <laughs> that doesn't count of course. But basically that's the way you get cookie fight. So that's why you can't wear a helmet because if you wear a helmet, we can't equip you with the... Um, cookie shadow head that is why I can't wear a helmet for this game but basically I won the first round because it was only uncookified left then we voted right here and we could get uncookified again because we wanted uh, to give cookie shadow up an opportunity to win capture the cookie as well as you can see here is the prize a lot of diamonds some free cookie shadow heads and I actually don't know what's our, what is in the shulkers. But anyway, three shulkers are good. And as you can see on top, two blocks of netherite and an elytra. Which is pretty good loot. Also this, dark quest. Um, <laughs> these are quests you needed to um, complete. And you got some shulker boxes and some good loot out of it. Um, so yeah. That is basically the mini games that ha have happened in between episodes, update video. Um, so I think that is it. But one more thing, we have this the um, wood shop. This is one of the first shops on the 
Hermit Life server and the only one shop still standing. So I want to revamp this. I wanted to revamp this for a long time now, but uh, yeah, it is like a monumental thing right now. So I think I'm going to make a monument close by and revamp the tree shop. So I, you will see the next update video probably the tree shop revamped. So stay tuned for that and yeah, as you can see the shopping district has changed a lot. Oops. Uh, I don't know what I did there, with a lot of new shops, even mail and stuff, I didn't get any mail, but yeah, just make, Toxic is making an ice boat racing track, right here, and yeah, it looks pretty cool, but I think that is it for the update video today guys, and I will see you in next episode, so stay tuned for another episode, bye bye!